we go. Let's see that fire, okay? Strong finish, Chandra. That's where it's at. Woo, come on, come on. I Nobody's messing myself. with you. I didn't have very good posture. I was constantly comparing myself when I walked into a room to anyone. Um, and even going to the gym was embarrassing. I mean, you look around and you see all the other people that are smaller than you, and instead of being inspired by them, I was discouraged. I would leave the gym sometimes even in tears um, because it was, it was intimidating to watch people who could do so much more than I could. And I knew that I could get there, but it was just hard. <laughs> it was really hard. And I, I didn't like the way I was feeling about myself. And I think that's the main thing. I think that you have to look at yourself every day in the mirror. And that was hard to do at that point. And at that point, I decided that something needed to happen, whether that was personal training or a different lifestyle. I was lifestyle. at the gym every day, running, doing so much cardio, like five, six miles a day, and Ashley and I would lift, lift from high school, and football lifts, and we weren't seeing the results we wanted, no matter how much time we spent in the gym working, it was, we hit a plateau and we weren't getting... Well, I had a friend that was going to try it, and I had done previously another boot camp type of thing with her, and my knees just couldn't handle it. I did it for about two months, and then I just was basically, I could barely walk. And I told her I would do it, but I checked with you first, and you had said that um, it, it wouldn't be impacting the knees and um and, and it's working I've been doing it for six now months when I, go to the gym, I have to think about what body part am i going to do next or what piece of equipment am i going to next or maybe somebody's on that piece of equipment so with a trainer i can condense you know what it may take me sometimes two hours in a gym um well, down to an hour so i get the most out of my time get the most out of my workout and i don't have to use 20 different pieces of equipment and they tell me what I need to do next, and right. you have to, you know, you you're, you got a date, you got a time, you're going to be there, you're paying for it, you know, so it's not like you're going to the gym where nobody's really, you're not accountable to anybody, you're just showing up whenever, um, and at home, same thing, you get distracted, something happens, the kids need this or that or whatever, and so, you know, you can always find excuses. Um, this way, you got a date and a time. I like that it's challenging every single day and different because you go to classes that can always be the same and repetitive and you know what to expect. Here it's like, all right, we're doing tries today. Oh, we're doing legs today. Oh, we're using a big tire. Oh, we're using light weights and heavy weights and it's always different. Cool. There we go, there we go. That's it, that's it, that's um, it. Work. Well, running, I've, I, when I go running, which is a little less, I'm a lot faster, a lot stronger. My endurance is just as high, even though I'm not running as half as much. And I can just see all over. I've just like, I was, I mean, it's not like I had a ton of weight to lose, but I have definitely toned up and like got a little bit of six pack coming in here, which nice, is awesome. Nice. So, yeah. That's cool. That's cool to see. That's good. Yeah, That's there's good. Awesome. no question that training helped me. Before surgery, I got ready. I got really strong so that I, I was in good shape. I knew I was going to lose a lot while I was down for three months. So I got in really good shape to, to, to be able to settle in. I was strong while I was recovering. I lost a whole lot of muscle tone. I lost a whole lot of stuff. And I also couldn't walk when I was finished. Um, recuperating on the couch. I went to a physical therapist, he gave me the basics, but that was only the basics. I needed so much more for the whole body. And you brought it all completely back and people are totally amazed when they see me now with the balance, with the gait, with the total recovery. That wouldn't have happened with a physical therapist alone. Um, I've noticed actually I had a shoulder problem from playing softball. Um, and this year it is non-existent, which is great. And then I wanted to lose some baby weight and I've lost three and a half inches in my waist already in the last, what is it, month and a half? I lost 30 pounds in three months. Told me to get off the elliptical and let's go work out with some kettlebells. Like, oh. So what I've noticed is that kettlebells is um, strength training and also cardio all in one. Because it gets your blood pumping, you start to sweat, and you're toning all of your muscles at the same time. That's what I love about kettlebells. 
There you go. So there's the proof, people. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to, you know, spend 20 hours a week working out in order to get, you know, results like that. Um, it's all about really putting together a good workout program and making sure that you get it all done and get out of there, right? And eat um, healthy and drink lots of water. There you go. There you go. Yes, yes. Um, now, would you? Now, also, would you say that? Um, you know, now, now I know that of course this isn't for you know everyone, but you know if you're, let's say you're, you know, a woman looking to lose thirty pounds or something like that. I mean, would you suggest this to someone else? Would you? Of course. Of course I would. I mean, um, I wasn't the most motivated person at first, but as soon as I started seeing results within the first couple of weeks, I knew that I was hooked and I needed to keep going, keep this up. And it's the best decision I ever So, I, as of today, have lost the 10 pounds, which I'm really happy about. I finally broke that 10 pound mark. Um, but the bigger thing that I noticed, like last week, was my arms in... Uh, in my shirts, some short sleeve shirts that I fit into when I'm maybe 10 pounds lighter than I am now, but they're still very tight on my arms or tight in my shoulders across my bust. And it's loose on my arms. It's, it's loose and it's not gaping and it just fits better. Uh, and I had talked with you earlier about my pants. So my legs yep, have always yep. been tight going into my pants and my legs go in smooth, you know, like it, it's not snug. It, just slides in. I actually am in a different size. Um, oh, oh, wow. So I okay. didn't say that okay. earlier. I forgot to tell you that because today's the first day on that. Uh, well, first of all, in about six weeks, I really noticed that my body was changing. My arms were becoming more muscular. I could see muscles where I hadn't seen muscles in a long time. And also, I, I maintained, usually I gain a lot of weight over the winter, and I, I didn't do that, which was great. And then probably most importantly for my health was that I've had just genetically high cholesterol for years and years and, and nothing seems to work to, to lower it. I tried diet, I exercise a lot and nothing's lowered it. But this last um, cholesterol check I had a couple months ago, it, everything was within normal limits. And that was, that's the only thing I can attribute to. It's the only difference, the only variable that's, um, that, that I have encountered or so. Yeah. Now, the first thing that you did was you did um, a month of personal training, right? Um, now, during that month of personal training, what what did you get from that? Like, I mean, did you kind of get results? What, what were your results? What did you get from it? I got really good results. I dropped 15 pounds in a month, and my body was amazing. I have never, I didn't even know it was capable of My that. back pain is eliminated. I don't wake up with back pain anymore. I have way more energy. I feel throughout the day, I don't feel lethargic in the middle of the afternoon, like I want to lay down and take a nap. Um, and so, a lot more energy. My strength is 10 times better than it used to be. I can keep going, I can lift things, I can work in the yard and not get tired and keep going. Awesome. I would say if you're thinking about it, um, quit thinking about it and just, you know, Try it and see. You, you got nothing to lose, right? I mean, well, except for a few pounds. But other than that, you, you got, I mean, come on. You know, all you can say is, well, maybe, you know, maybe you didn't like it. I haven't found anybody that hasn't. So I would say try it today and see how you like it because I think you're going to love it. You're going to not regret any part of it. Right. Jump in. Do it. Give it a week. See how your body feels. And there's no way your body's going to feel bad. You know, you're gonna feel great, you're gonna look in the mirror and you're gonna feel good about yourself and you're gonna notice the difference in your spring and that's just gonna make you wanna come back and keep doing it. There you I go. Think. Yeah, you awesome. just have to do it. You can't just be like, I did it once and it hurt, you have to keep going. Yes. Try it. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, thanks, Lauren. Yeah, and, uh, thank you. Yeah, cool. This is awesome. See you tomorrow. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. cool. Thank I'm you. Thank you. This class. That's so awesome. <laughs> cool deal. <laughs>